Hello in Global Stores, they show in Hong Kong and now we're in Z-Blade booth and Z-Blade is very experienced in making their smart watch and they have a very popular series called Thor. We have made a lot of videos about Thor 4, Thor 4 Pro and now we are happy to know that this company is making the new smart watch Thor 5. So have a look on the Thor 5. Uh, you can see from here the display is round. Um, it comes with a 1.39 inch uh, AMOLED screen. The resolution is 454 by 454 pixels. They're using the Corning Gorilla Glass 4 for this uh, smartwatch. Uh, we are happy to note from this company that they added a, new, uh, a few of new features uh, on this Thor 5, such as they are adding a, a front-facing camera with 8 megapixel in this smart, smartwatch, and also they, this watch has dual uh, system, uh, which we'll tell you later more. Let's have a look on the watch itself. It comes with a, a silicone band. It's not removable because they have antennas uh, inside. As usual, at the back, we have a pogo pin uh, for data and charging, and uh, one stop for a SIM card, and also the, uh, the heart rate sensor at the back. On this side, we have a power button and a switch button, which I'm going to explain more uh, to you later. And here we have a speaker. On this side, uh, this small hole is for, uh, is for mic. This is a standalone uh, smartwatch, so you don't need a phone uh, to make phone calls. This smartwatch comes with a MT6739, and what is special is that it includes another chipset called Nordic 52840. The reason they are doing with two, two chipset is that uh, it supports two um, systems for this smartwatch. One is the standard smartwatch mode and the other one uh, is the smart wristband mode which will be powered by just Nordic chipset. Let's take a look on this uh, uh, standard smartwatch mode. Uh, with, in this mode we have all the touch function so we can swipe to see everything is inside this watch. Here's a, sh a list of all the apps we have on this and we can also use Google Play. The important is that we are going to introduce a long standby mode. Uh, this mode is powered by uh, the Nordic chipset as I mentioned earlier. In the future they're going to improve the design uh, so that you can uh, switch uh, to this standby mode by pressing this button. Let's, move, let's have a look on the stand, long standby mode. So in this standby mode, it's just uh, it supports all the function of the smart wristband. So you can see the light, uh, the brightness is lower, so that it will save a lot of power for this uh, for in this uh, band mode, and. The battery in this smartwatch is 560 mAh, but in this mode it can last for 5 to 7 days. So there's no touch function in this mode, which helps to save a lot of power too. Um, but we can uh, function this mode uh, by pressing the, the switch mode, oh, sorry, uh, switch button on this side. We can change uh, what we need for this by pressing this button. Let's go back to the uh, smartwatch mode. We just need to long press the power button on this side. Okay, now we are back to the smartwatch mode. Uh, in this mode, the, uh, this smartwatch can last for around 48 hours. Uh, have a look on the specs on the brochure. As I mentioned earlier, this smartwatch uh, comes with uh, two chipsets. One is MT6739 and the other one is Nordic 52840. And the screen size is 1.3 inch with uh, 454 by 454 pixels. The RAM and ROM is 2GB plus 2 plus 16GB.
and the front camera I just mentioned is 8 megapixel. We got a news from the company that they are going to launch this watch at the beginning of May and the price is around 140 US dollars. Thank you.